so your question is when i am listening to vedanta i feel peaceful but when i and i go to the world mind reacts nothing wrong in the mind reacting the body you have to frequently be in such ha body and mind reacting nothing wrong in that body will get hungry it will get hungry others will die just because you got nana body tomorrow starts stop doing uh, its function okay body is a vehicle vehicle will go through its own thing so i give an example right when it throw something body will immediately react others will not body will not survive so these are called body physical programs physical programs are required and continue okay physical program involves different things hunger thirst sleep all those things will happen to dnani also understand sex is a physical program desire for sex because body will create some hormones will create desire for sex that's also a problem that's also will happen to dnani okay now the problem becomes more when the mind gets involved <laughs> <laughs> understand so the mind gets involved the body physical program is run it's like a machine body is a machine like a car has a steering wheel brake accelerator everything is there when you see something suddenly some reaction will happen in the body that's also fine okay some pain will happen that's also fine because that's how body is designed it's all part of nature body is a part of nature body is part of panchabhuta so even here when you some injury happens immediately you feel pain the pain is to felt otherwise it will bleed it bleed to death the pain is the nature of alarm right fire alarm type oh something is happening look at that important things are happening pain is there there's no problem at all the body functioning body mechanism will continue body program will continue so suddenly suddenly something you are going in the street suddenly somebody somebody uh, some vehicle comes fast immediately you jump without even thinking reflex action they are all required to preserve your body and there is a desire for sexual hormones are generated a child has to be created that all will happen hormone generation everything will happen even in the dani because body is the engine here machine nothing will happen it's continuous will do that so the problem comes when the mind identifies with the body mind comes into picture the consciousness has no problem the consciousness is silent witness the body functions like a machine your brain operates your eyes are functioning your heart is beating blood flow is there breathing is happening it's all perfect now you don't have to worry about it it's going on and something happens immediately pain will be there you'll get into go you'll do something and the child birth is there pain is there the pain for the child birth is to tell you something important is happening give attention to that it's not going to make cause suffering the mind that comes into picture between the consciousness in the body the mind is the jiva there is the problem okay so now the mind starts taking the pain and converts it into suffering the pain is momentary suffering is lifelong right so now you are how old are you now 62 in 62 years of life you have so many friends and so many people some Spoke bad against you, Pastor. Who may remember most? People who told even one time bad, you'll remember them more. Hurt, <laughs> right? Wow, your friend has been there with you for twenty, thirty years. Twenty, thirty years you have been good. So one time the friend told something about you, that you'll remember more than twenty, thirty times. Hmm? <laughs> That's not natural. <laughs> that's usual but not natural <laughs> so when a friend was there with happy moments 20 years 30 years happy moments you suddenly forget one time something happened with one one year six months something happened with the friend you start remembering for life long and you suffer okay what happens with your friend for one time some time is a pain no doubt about it pain is part of life just like pleasure is a part of life pain is a part of life but the mind starts coming again and again remembering that recording that replaying that processing. processing that 
Can you tell me like this? Right? So that pain gets converted to suffering. The pain of the body is not a problem. Loss and gain in the life is not a problem. <coughs> it's natural. Something you gain, something you lose. Consciousness is no problem. Physically also there's no problem. The mind coming into picture and trying to hold on. I should not have pain. This person caused me hurt. And the mind converts momentary pain into lifelong hurt. Because it keeps a record. It will never forget. Good things you will forget. <laughs> you have some, your friend has done so many good things to you. That will forget. One thing in bad, you start remembering. That itself will expand, magnify. Why? Why is that so? Ah, it is a defense mechanism. It's nothing wrong with the mind. Okay? It is, mind is there to protect you. Protect so, see, security guards are there. Okay? Security guards are your apartment, they are guarding. Okay? So, people are going and coming. But any person suspicious, it become very suspicious. So, the mind is creating pain to hurt, trying to protect you. So, it won't happen again. It won't happen again. Okay? Understand? It's a defense mechanism. But you start without understanding defense mechanism, you start getting involved with it. Oh, I am suffering. I am suffering. So the defense mechanism, the pain has to be understood. What is the pain? What is the lessons to be learned? And apply in your life. Rather than constantly remember hurt and getting hurt again and again. It's like a, a boil is there on the leg, hand. So you keep on scratching. The boil will become more. So pain is converted to hurt. Because again and again, depending, you are blaming the friend. We are actually stop. The friend is away, but mentally you talk to the friend. Okay, so you are talking to yourself constantly. Self talk, huh? right? The poor fellow, he told you once you are a donkey. <laughs> Every day you are saying, "You told me donkey. You told me donkey. You told me donkey." In your mind, <laughs> and you have a friend in your mind, and you are there. Both are imaginary characters. Please don't blame the mind. Mind is a defensive mechanism. Mind is like a security guard. Security guard is always supposed to be suspicious. Right? But you are the owner now. You are the boss now. You are forwarded as the boss. You have got a security guard saying, oh, you will start off crying. So the as a boss, as a sakshi, you witness what's going on. What is the lesson to be learned? Apply the lesson. Don't keep on suffering every day. So you get involved in the suffering. You miss Atma. Give Atma. Uh, what is that? Uh, Superimposition happens. Remove the superimposition. I'm the boss. I have nothing has happened to me. So what is the lesson to be learned? So any experience, bad experience or good experience, if I learn from that, apply in your life, you are done. Right? We don't learn. We keep on suffering. Right? So the pain is natural. Suffering is unnatural. Okay? So now, we have to understand the situation and uh, We'll come to that. Right? I'll come to that question. Okay? So first, let me answer this question. Continue. So the pain, our problem is body is goes through a natural cycle. Life has its own natural cycle. Okay? Atma has no problem. Right? Then where is the problem? The problem here is everything in the body and everything in the world is constantly changing. Change is the nature of the world. Right? Constantly everything changes. Nothing is permanent in the world. Right? Understand? But we want everything permanent now. <laughs> Who wants everything permanent? Not the body. Not the Atma. Mind. <laughs> Mind wants to hold on to permanently. A friendship has to be permanent. A love has to be permanent. Money is to be permanent. Gain has to be permanent. Everything which gives me permanence. Mind is holding on. Correct? Understand? It's trying to hold on to good moments and trying to run away from bad moments. Now, what will happen to you when you are holding on to something which is changing, moving? Let me give you an example. Okay? There's a fan now. Touch the fan. Nothing happens to you. Hmm? Hold the fan. Nothing happens to you. Let us switch on the fan and hold it. Now hold it. Your finger will be cut. <laughs> What is changing? If you try to hold on, you'll get hurt. I want to add one thing. If the 
um, association of matter and consciousness, we want to hold it. Ah. It won't happen. Sometimes it will disassociate. Some always. <laughs> when we won't accept it, when we don't know the uh, principle of this, it, it hurts. Like uh, yeah. when mind involved it, we are into the mode of why me. Correct. When we are not involved with the mind, we see it in a this as it is, then why not me? Correct. So she is saying, my jiva, consciousness and matter is trying to hold on together, which is impossible <laughs> because matter is different, consciousness is different. So what is unreal, mind is trying to hold on. Okay. And this perpetual stress because you know, deep inside, you know, it's not possible. Even though I want to have it. Even though you want to have it, it's not possible. So life is uncertain. World is uncertain. Everything is changing. But mind somewhere wants to hold it on. It wants permanent. So when you are trying to hold on to impermanent to permanent, you have been very good relationship with your friend for 25 years. I want to hold on to 25, another 25 years. <laughs> How is this possible? <laughs> your friend told one thing, suddenly get hurt. And that one thing you told or one thing you did will override, override 25 years of good things. Okay, now you are trying to hold on to goodness it's impossible so again, question, letting, go. Huh? letting go letting go correct you don't have to let go also once you understand nature of life you learn not don't worry about let go also there's let go is a philosophy yes. here if you understand everything is changing what is that to let go correct so our problem is we don't understand everything in life is temporary everything in life is changing let's call me uh, anitya Okay, so now the mind has kept a record of what has happened 10 years back. It says the same thing has happened to today. How it will happen? Right? So you are holding on to not to the present moment, you are holding on to the past. Who is holding on to the past? Mind. Who is holding on to the past? Mind, which is not real. Unreality is holding on to unreal. So what is your problem for as a reality? <laughs> Unreal holding on to unreal as real. Unreal holding on to unreal as real, and it's me holding on. That's your problem. <laughs> Atma doesn't hold on to anything. Sakshi doesn't hold on to anything. Unreal mind is holding on to unreal incident and crying. It's like if you think mind as a security alarm or mind is a security guard, security guard has to cry. But why are you crying with the security guard? That's my problem. <laughs> Your problem is security guard crying is not a problem. Mind crying is not a problem. Why you are crying with the security guard? Mind is a security guard. You can't have security guard. Mind says, this happened 10 times. This will happen again. Fine, my dear. Okay? Your problem starts the moment you take mind as real. And mind, you forget the security guard. You start loving the security guard. You become one in security guard. <laughs> and you almost marry the security guard called mind. <laughs> Then you have a problem. <laughs> then security guard says, you also cry. You say, okay, this happened. Now what is learning? Let us apply it. Then mind will come, calm down. Okay. Letting go means learning from any incident and apply. Instead of learning from incident, you start getting involved in incident, you start crying with the mind. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So letting go means simple principle of letting go. So what happens? What is the learning? The experience is the indicator of learning. But instead of learn, holding on to learning, we'll hold on to experience. Mind hold on. No, mind holding on to experience is also not a problem. Mind is the instrument. You holding on to mind is a problem. See, mind is real. <laughs> you miss Atma. Atma, Jiva, yeah. that super question is a problem. Ego. ego is the mind. Ego and mind are same. That is also not a problem. Ego is required for us for survival in life. So you saying, I am, the, I am suffering is a problem. Understand? Then you are not able to apply logic and understand. So now, nothing wrong with this. This is life. Your problem is I am losing so many hours of suspense. <laughs> you see my qualification? I have 10,000 hours of satsang attendance. Okay? I am much better than the Guruji. I am much better than Swamiji because I have, I have understood so much of Atmadana. If I take any exam, I will write an exam and qualify a board medal in Vedanta. 
okay you conduct the exam i'll pass because i have knowledge but in the life exam i am in the life exam i am paid <laughs> so it is like taking the dog dog is leading us ah uh, means if you have that understanding and applying it into our life like we are taking the dog dog is dog is coming so the example is very nice nice example mind is like a dog its nature is to bark it nature is to protect body is a dog its nature is to bark and protect but the problem is what is unnatural is you start barking with the dog he <laughs> start crying with the mind atma as a sakshi you forget and start crying with the dog called mind so i understand the dog instead of you taking the dog the dog starts taking you okay then your become life becomes a dog's life <laughs> your life is gone right you start crying so your problem is i have attended satsang i understood vedanta but still i am suffering nothing wrong in that again <laughs> because your relation with the mind is very long you have been associated and identified with the mind for very long okay it's a very nice friendship <laughs> nice illusion friendship real friendship may not last but illusion friendship will last longer <laughs> Yeah, India enjoyment the illusion is there. In the illusion enjoyment is there. But now silent and neglect are in the mind will not allow us to. Yeah. We'll 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 come to that. We'll come to that. No, no, we'll come to that. No, we'll come to that. Right. First, I'll explain. I'll explain the problem first. Right. So now, mind crying and barking is not a problem. Body crying and body having in pain is not a problem. But you start identifying with that. Atma starting identifying the body and mind because of super emotion is the problem, right? As long as you understand mind and body, there is a pain and suffering. You are able to witness it. Witness means so no no. I have to witness. I have to witness struggle. No, you have to understand your nature is witness. You don't have to witness. <laughs> you don't have to put effort. It's your natural natural state. Understand? Then there is no problem. No no no. I have to witness. That means you are converting witness into your natural state into action. Then there is a problem. Your natural state is not an action. You have to remember your natural state. No, the question is why is the mind is repeating? No, that's what I'm saying. Same, uh, I'll coming. I'm coming to that, right? So now, the mind. Why the mind is repeating same thing? Okay. So they say the training of the mind has important. Mind has to be trained. You train your dog, no? <laughs> no? Right? Do you train your mind? No. Huh? Do you train the security guard? Yes. Ah, security guard. This my friend. Don't do anything. No. This uh, this person comes. Hello him. So like that. Are you able to train your mind? Yes. You can, but it takes a lot of. Time. You can, but you are not doing. <laughs> it doesn't take a lot of time. Lot of effort is also illusion. No, no, no. No, no. Lot of effort is also another illusion. That we find out. Why lot of training is illusion? I'll try to find out because when you say I am, it takes a lot of time. You are already involved with the mind. mind training itself is a lot of problem the boss of the mind called atma training the mind is not a problem you have to remember your nature is i am the atma and train the mind mind training itself is a problem i'll let us the next question how to train the mind are you clear so now listening to satsanga listening to vedanta teaching understanding vedanta makes our life better i'll give you example of one husband and wife who came to me so they were actually about 54 years married for almost 25 30 years 25 30 years they have a very disturbed married life always fighting so it so happened that both husband and wife both are very highly qualified they came they attend my 9 months class and after that they disappeared for one year so one day both husband and wife came our life has become better sir i knew there is these people are were always troubling my 30 years of married disturbed married life my life has become better how it become you stop fighting how can you stop fighting <laughs> if you don't fight we don't get sleep then how it has become better oh there's a difference earlier we used to fight after fighting one year i will not see his face she will not see my face one year anger will be there one year will be just one or not one year one month one week one week will be disturbed it will take one week to cool down okay so now what happened that things are we fight and immediately remember is nitya five minutes you are back to normal 
<laughs> so what has happened the reaction time will reduce are you clear you will come back normally you lose balance but you will come back lose balance because body and mind their nature is to react they are they are like security guard okay it will take some time it will come back to balance earlier the imbalance will just happen one month one week 10 days so that's why you have to remember f i r e fire okay there is a fire in our life okay emotional fire disturbance emotion is the fire okay so the fire will come down in life as we listen to what is fire frequency so now the husband wife said every day used to fight earlier now the frequency has come down once in a week once in a week we don't fight we don't get rest so we will do fight once in a week but every day earlier every day we used to fight so frequency will come down now intensity so when i fought earlier i go to cook kitchen room and break something i have to uh, this vessels i have to smash and this fellow goes to office and uh, going out he uh, bang the door intensity okay or tear something paper all intensity has come down now we'll smile silently i go to my kitchen keep my vessel no noise intensity frequency will come down intensity will come down right then uh, this thing what is that uh, ah, recovery. recovery so earlier it took one week now five minutes two minutes fire will come down suddenly one day fire will not disappear understand even dani has that ability dani also happens even dani also get into fire but recovery time is fast just because somebody became atma dani oh every fire has gone no fire is there it will come down frequency will come down intensity will come recovery time will be faster fire if you remember then you understand so it will become more and more one day it is finally it become very little and tiny are you clear so this is how gnana happens it's not suddenly overnight something will happen this is slow process of recovery understand is your question answered so what you have to do shravana manana niridhyasa seva satsanga seva this you have to continue how long you have to continue how long you have to continue one day can i stop so how long you have to wash your teeth <laughs> no no if you are asking your teacher he is not how long you have to wash your teeth ha <laughs> how long <laughs> how long you have to take a bath every day ha <laughs> body is there you take a bath in the morning when you go out dust will select similarly mind is there nana once you get satsanga some dust will go when the moment you go into interview society again dust will come because everybody treats it as body again satsanga shravana manana nidhyasa seva has to be continued this is a regular maintenance process are okay. you clear any questions like if the phone is discharged we have to charge it again you have to charge it again the same day we have to come huh. so now what do you think one day permanently i'll get enlightened okay our permanent enlightenment we have a concept again living every day enlightenment is living every day want worrying about past not worrying future only for living today fully is called enlightenment tomorrow again you have to do nani <laughs> learns the art of living in that way it becomes a regular habit pattern your old habits of living for tomorrow living for yesterday has to be gone living for today is important how long you are going to live take a guess take a guess 70 she is going to live 70 years let's give a big round of applause for her you know you are going to live 70 years no <laughs> so there was a, a story in mahabharata dharmaraya is known for his charity okay whatever dharmaraya is brother one day he will he will start charity in the morning at 6 o'clock he closes one brahmin comes 
just at the time of closure. So Dharmaraya says, says here, tell Dharmaraya tells Brahmin that come tomorrow morning. I'll give tomorrow morning. Today it's closed. Bhima was there nearby. So he starts jumping, he starts clapping, and he starts ringing a big bell in the uh, palace. The bell is uh, to attract people. Thousands of people have gathered, some special event. So he says, I have a great news for all of you. Okay? It's a very celebration. You know, my brother knows he's going to leave tomorrow morning. <laughs> all right? So, do any of us have a guarantee that we'll be alive tomorrow? Huh? Then you are saying you live up to 70 years? <laughs> How can you guess and live? I mean, you must be so smart to understand that you live for 20 years, 70 years? Oh, it's a hope. Yeah, hope. Is hope reality? No. 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 Huh? No. Are you living reality or illusion? Illusion. Do one thing. You have a family doctor? Go and take a certificate from him. He will be alive tomorrow morning. Why? <laughs> Your doctor cannot hear certificate tomorrow morning. You'll have <laughs> so, we have hope that we'll be alive tomorrow. It's not a reality. What is reality? It's today. Okay? Tomorrow is imagination and hope. If you are able to learn, live today fully, 100%. Tomorrow, if it comes, it's a bonus. Day after tomorrow, it comes a bonus. Are you able to live 24 hours of a day fully? Please tell me. A person is dying tomorrow. How will he live? The 24 hours he will use properly. Correct? Understand? If somebody knows that I am going to die tomorrow, maybe in one week, that one week he will utilize fully. Then we have to do that. I mean, if you are guaranteed that you are alive tomorrow, you do something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Today. <laughs> That's why we don't live in reality. Okay, we live in illusion that tomorrow is there. We live that we will live for 50 years. It's illusion. Okay. Today is real. Only today is real. Yesterday is also not there. Yesterday is dead. Tomorrow is unborn. Today, 24 hours is there. It's a gift. Are you using the gift? This is called grace. We are imagining some grace. 24 hours you got today is a grace. Did you get, use it? Look at your own life. You got up in the morning and you'll go to sleep. From morning to evening, <coughs> did you use that 20, whatever time available to you properly? We'll waste our time thinking about the past. We'll waste our time thinking about the future, worrying about the future. In the process, today what is real is gone. That means we died literally today. You are dying today. You are thinking death will come out in 30 years. While every day you are dying psychologically. Physical death may happen after 30 years. But psychological death is happening today because you are not living your present moment. You are dying today. You are saying I will die after 70 years. When you are not able to utilize that full day, it's gone. There's a death, psychological death today. And we have illusion of death. Then we have illusion of the future. I'm not saying don't plan for the future. You plan for the future, but today. Work today. Today is a day of action. Can you do some action tomorrow? Action is always today. Life is about action. Okay. Bhagavad Gita is about action. Past is about inaction. Future is about inaction. You know that? You cannot do anything about future. When it comes, you have to do something. Past is also, you can't do anything about it. Today, you can do something about it. Anything. So, life, Bhagavad Gita is a life of action. You can live your life today fully with the action. Not with the reaction. Not in imagination, not in illusion. Today, 10 hours or 12 hours available to you is real. Right? Are you doing that? So this is the meaning of life, living life fully. This is the meaning of enlightened life. Every day, 
live your life fully for one day no no one day i get enlightened that day will never come because you have illusion of one day so then in the old villages if you go now they say on the door they will write something right they will put a hand and write naale ba come tomorrow they write no you know that why they do they think that there's a ghost in the village so ghost comes in the night and sees the door naale ba come tomorrow and it will never come because every day it come and say naale ba similarly liberation or enlightenment you are postponing naale ba tomorrow one day tomorrow one day i'll get nana tomorrow i'll get mukti no tomorrow it's always here and now if you are able to live your life here and now fully 100% done every day you do it you are liberated enlightenment is an event not even enlightenment is a way of living in the right knowledge right understanding in awareness so you think that enlightenment is an event no right way of living is the right awareness living every day is called enlightenment enlightened living not an enlightenment is an event all this uh, books and all spiritual books have given a illusion that one day enlightenment will happen that day something will happen that's all illusion and the spiritual maya <laughs> from physical maya worldly maya into spiritual maya one day ek din hey, tell me the song the mantra honge kamya ek din hum honge kamya one day i will become successful what in life one day i will become after that everything will be perfect <laughs> that illusion you are living that is today either today you live in full awareness of who you are or you will not live you are dead or you are are you alive or dead if you are alive you know i am atma the body mind is my vehicle i will use it for proper purpose your house a maid comes to your house you have a maid in house you pay salary no okay for the salary you will get exact exact amount of work no you will not allow her to leisure no the body mind and the vehicle body and mind is your maid are you using it properly <laughs> <laughs> The me is again. You have become. You have fallen in love with the maid. <laughs> <laughs> me, you have to separate out. I am the boss. I am the Atma. You have to give instruction. Ah, I will tell the maid. So if you are uh, if you are fallen in love with the maid, then you say you are God save you. <laughs> <laughs> the body and mind is your maid. You have to tell the maid what to do. Today is the day. Do this properly. that is called enlightenment not enlightenment is not a event one which will happen one day in future it's either today or never here and now discipline the mind no don't have discipline the mind you have to understand you are the boss mind will do yes. so the problem is this concept of discipline comes from mind again so the proper instruction to the mind to mind instrument So for that I will tell you how to live your life properly. Every day you get twenty four hours, correct? So the twenty four hours can you save for tomorrow? No. Twenty four hours is what is spent today. So we have to live our life like a daily wage worker. So daily wage worker has no permanent job. He doesn't know whether tomorrow job is there or not. So morning he goes to the construction place. The mystery is there. Namaste mystery. What I should do today? Is there a job for me? May I stay with you? Yes, do this, all these things. By evening, you have to complete. If it doesn't do properly, you will not get salary. If it comes early, you get salary. Mystery ji, please, can you guarantee me the salary tomorrow also? Job tomorrow also? No. Today, you have to do your properly. So, you have to tell the mystery, I have done my job properly. Similarly, <coughs> the God is the mystery, Ishwara. He has given you 24 hours. That 24 hours has to be utilized today. 24 hours to be done properly. By the, through the body mind complex instrument, right? So our problem is we don't know what to do with this vehicle. Also, that's another problem. What to do with this? Sir? Okay, so this is given for three purposes. One is for your own survival, growth. You take care of family, take care of job. What is required for your environment? For you to be comfortable. What is required? Second thing is Atmano Moksha Atam realizes them. Third thing is Jagaditaaya service. 
only three things nothing more nothing less so taking care of yourself includes entertainment also i am not a kill joy you some entertainment netflix or movie or whatever you want to do entertainment included so only three purposes only three things you can do in a day what are the three what is required for yourself your family some entertainment what is required atmano moksha what you do jagadai now are you clear what is required for you and your family to do what is the entertainment program also you know yeah. right yeah. do it how many hours are required per day three four hours four hours are gone okay. next atmano moksha arthan self realization what you have to do shravana shravana mana nidhi dhyasa how many hours three hours three hours four plus three seven mm-hmm. then some service jagat kaaya Sleep. Before going to sleep, you go back to Mestri, God. Mestri ji, you give me twenty-four hours. I'm very thankful to you. If I give me apology tomorrow, tomorrow also come and work. <laughs> Today, whatever you give me, I've done my job properly. I'm thankful to you. Thank God and go to sleep. So, is there time for worrying about the past? No. Blaming? No. Is there time about uh, thinking of the future? No. You can think of the future, but cannot take action. Okay, I'm worried about my retirement. Fine. What is the plan? Save some money today. Done. There are only three things. Now, where is our where is where is the problem in our life? Now, if you are very aware, if you are very clear about understanding, then you will be able to tell mind clearly. First, if you yourself are confused, how are you to tell the mind? Right. So tomorrow again, a grace. Tomorrow. What is the guarantee that we will get up tomorrow morning? So get up tomorrow morning. Twenty-four days, a blessing. Use the blessing properly. Is there any complicated way of life, Divi? <laughs> Very simple. Anybody have a question on the Zoom? Now, who is here? Who is again? You are made to make things very complicated, yeah. but not you, she is not taking it seriously because you are you are actually fallen in love with the maid, called body and mind. <laughs> as long as you understand the boss, there is no problem. <laughs> Why are you falling in love with the maid? Because maid is unruly. Yeah, <laughs> no maid is not unruly. Maid is unruly because the boss. <laughs> boss is the one with the maid. Boss is the weak because boss doesn't understand who is he. <laughs> so any question anybody has a question on the zoom Gu- guru ji when we when we are working when we think of the past or the future mes we will not uh, pay the wages you will kick us out of the work ah <laughs> ah so now your mes is the guarantee that tomorrow you will be alive <laughs> no ah our life is always today sir yes guru ji you have to live our life fully today Hundred percent. Yes. yes. Anybody else any questions on this room? Is it relevant? Uh, the discussion is relevant to any of you people. Is it interesting or uh, not interesting? <laughs> interesting, very interesting. Is it easy to apply? Yes. Uh, we we have to put uh, we have to put our effort. I have to put effort. Is yeah. please again? You are getting involved in the mind. <laughs> <laughs> you have to inspect the mind clearly. A clarity is required for you. Yes, sir. Understand? Yes, Nirmala Sitaraman, you want to say something? Okay. So, can you close this discussion?